Hi, I'm Rod, and I'm here to talk about direct data onboarding, otherwise known as DDO. I'm going to be assisted today by Dali, which I have educated on DDO, lots of information, and it's going to give us different art styles for each slide contextualized to that slide. So I hope you're entertained. So direct data onboarding. Uh, Filecoin is a decentralized storage market, but it has a singular market mechanism, the built-in market actor. Um, direct data onboarding, which is FIP76, is the next step in unlocking a marketplace of markets. So not just one market, but a marketplace of markets. Coming soon in, uh, in NV22. So DDO is unlocking the next level of this evolution. The current uh, built-in market works. It works fine. It does work. Everyone's using it. But it's gas expensive, it's state wasteful, uh, it's inflexible, there's only one notion of what a deal is, and we could do better on SP OPEX with it, but there's a lot of a lot of shepherding of sectors and pieces to get them into place, and, and we think we can do better than that. The FVM will soon enable user programmed smart contracted smart contract mediated storage markets. This is this is where we're heading to, and DDO gets us right up to the line with this no more one size fits all market there'll be uh you'll be able to do instant deals very long deals fill and other payment options uh integrated with data cap allocators integrated with additional workflows like data DAOs, um, special purpose markets gated markets all sorts of things um that is that suit different relationships between clients and um and sps so basics of ddo uh, so ddo is additive it's not replacing the existing workflows. This is an addition, so you can still do deals with the built-in market actor today. Um, in fact, DDO will also interact with the uh, built-in market actor if you wanted to. Um, so, so you don't. This is not. We're not. This is not being forced on people, but um, it, it is a, an additional unlock. Um, publishing uh, deal information to the market actor will be optional with DDO, obviously. Uh, but a pre-commit will contain only the data commitment, and then a proof commit is where all the information gets loaded in. So that'll have data cap claims for pieces. It will have actors to notify about pieces. That's the interesting bit because currently that will be for for market actor interacting deals. There'll be F zero five put in there. Um, for uh, smart contracts, that's where we'll be able to put smart contract addresses in there. Um, that's currently limited to only F zero five, but that it'll change will unlock. Um, user programmed storage markets. Um, so we're really close. Um, data cap allocations do become the client responsibility. I'll talk more about that later. Um, but we do get to five year data cap terms. DDO costs, one of the big activities here, we are reducing costs. The built in market actor is, is quite expensive and consumes the most ga gas of any built in actor at the moment. Um, with a DDO workflow onboarding the same data, we're estimating that with uh, fill plus data that, that it will be roughly 43% uh, of the cost of onboarding that same data with um, with DDO versus the market actor. With non-fill plus data, we're getting as low as 14% gas of the current, the current equivalent with the built-in market actor. For the storage provider, uh, how does this look? Well, you can still accept deals through the built-in market actor. You don't have to opt for DDO. This is a an optional workflow. Um, but if you do, then uh, it should be better for gas. It, it help, should help with OPEX by simplifying things. Boost will have support. Um, if you scan the QR code there, you'll see a bunch of links about DDO. And one of them is a video talk by um, Anton that's demonstrating the new Boost feature that's coming up. They'll be wanting feedback for that too. It's, it's, it's fairly basic as it is, but it could be made more interesting with feedback from users. For the client, as I said, data cap must be allocated by the client. So that's a message on chain to allocate to a provider for a piece. But it does unlock five-year term maxes, even what those sectors only max out at 3.5 years, because you can allocate for your piece and provider, and they can take advantage of renewing that by renewing the sector without interacting with you. Um, but you, there's also this delegate to operator mechanism. So that could involve field plus allocators. It could involve smart contracts, um, other creative opportunities here. And there's more opportunities to reduce the cost and com complexity of this that, um, that we can take advantage of. Tooling is underway. Singularity um, is going to have this integrated if you're using Singularity. Go check that out. Um, ultimately, this is about choice for clients and SPs. Um, you'll be able to mediate um, however you want um, with to get your data on to Filecoin. Um, it, you can do different types of payments, different, different price points. You'd be able to optimize for your different incentives, etc. For the observer, this is where it gets a bit interesting. 
because now the built-in market actor will continue to track everything it tracks with regard to its media deals, but there'll be a pathway to onboarding data that goes around the market actor that you'll need to tune into. Uh, the verified registry actor will, will be the source of truth for all Field Plus pieces. So all the data cap claims will live in there. Um, you'll be able to see all the piece, piece information from there. So um, you should be using that for data cap information. Messages are the place, that the, the, one of the, the places where you'll be able to see information about all pieces regardless of data cap or not. So the messages um, will come with the, the, that information. There's also a new API that's going into Lotus for to observe some new events that are coming out of built-in actors, which are coming along with this new network version. They're similar to what's available in the, in the FEVM now, but built-in actors can do this. Um, the first batch is related to deals, sector, and data cap life cycles, um, but more will be added later. You can subscribe to these events via the Lotus API, or you can look at them historically. They'll also be attached to message receipts if you're using things that way. Here's an example of a set of messages, uh, events, sorry, that are coming out for onboarding some data with DDO um, using DataCap. So first one's a client allocating a piece to a provider. Um, it has the allocation ID you can look up in the state there. The next, the next three are from the SP. Um, there's a, a pre-commitment. And then the last two there are from the same, resulting from the same message, which is, um, the, the sector commitment that has all the piece information down the bottom there, uh, regardless of whether it's, it's data cap or not. And then for each piece that is data cap, there will be an equivalent claim that you can then also look up in the, um, in the verified registry actor. Um, new, these events do actually unlock new possibilities too. You'll be able to observe from outside the chain and, and react. Um, so doing things like uh, repair and doing replicas on, you know, as things happen and potentially perpetual storage by having this, this real-time observability. Um, so lots of potential there. And with new, we could add new events that do interesting things with um, accounts or other things in the built-in actors. So events are relatively cheap to add, but they do, they should require a FIP for built-in actors, but um, make proposals and, and see how we go. Uh, in summary, here's um, what you need to uh, tune into for observability, these sources of truth. Built-in market actor state will have all its information. Verified actor state will um, have all the data cap stuff. Messages will have everything, um, the, the, all the piece information, and actor events as well will have that as well. So there's my QR code. There's a whole lot of links on there. Catch me on Slack or anyone else that's um, involved in the Lotus team um, should be able to tell you about what's going on. And that's me.